everybody it's Andrea and welcome to the channel I did say there would not be a haul this month because I wasn't going to be buying that much stuff I lied I've got a few supplies and 17 books some of these are free PDFs though from <coughs> uh, Ava Brown so I think there's four or possibly five but I still bought a lot of books Three of them I ordered on payday, expecting them not to come until 1st or 2nd of June and they came on the 5th, 1st of May, so I have included them. However, in June they won't be because there's a very expensive book coming out that I need to buy. Well, I've actually pre-ordered it um, and you'll see more about that in the weekly vlog. So let's get on to what I bought. So supplies first, not much. I did buy um, a 24 pack of these Scribblicious brush pens. Basically we were out on Saturday and we were going to visit Paul's mum and I bought colouring books for myself and for Jennifer. So I bought these pens. Now these were only £3. The colour is lovely um, but the, the br brushes don't last very long if you use them really mani maniacally like um, obviously Jennifer being three year old, three year old does but it's only £3. I don't mind. You've got, there's 24 and there is a good range of colours. I'll just tip them out so you can see. These are all the colours, get one neon yellow. The neon yellow is a bit rubbish, it's not very good at all. But as you can see, you've got a couple of oranges, a couple of reds, some pinks and purples, a few blues, three blues, three greens, a couple of browns, a black. So they're all right, they're not, obviously, they're not high quality, they're only £3 for 20 pounds. But do you know what they were worth picking up so that uh, we can take them? car with us when we're going somewhere and like because there's Jennifer hasn't got much stuff at, at Paul's mum's house just like um oh what is it it's a uh, thing <laughs> is it a thing it's a um a magna doodle thing but it's a pepper pig one which we leave there for her to play with but like, we've got some colouring stuff for her so they can go over there. I bought uh, one of these packs of sticky notes these were only £2.50 and there's like 12 pounds of colourful sticky notes as you can see it's a memo set I think it does say that there are like approximately a hundred sheets of the sticky pad the four sets and then eight sets of the tabs which are 190 which is great and they come in this nice little case as well which is really nice and it's the long way around and you open it up and it's like that you got you can write important numbers on there and then you got your pads there there's the four and then there's the the tabs so these would be great for done pages you could use those for whips or for whatever so bought those only £2.50 so a bit of a bargain they can just stay on my desk up there and I can actually use them when I'm working as well I bought a craft knife um, I haven't taken that package yet because I've got to find somewhere safe to put it away from Jennifer I know it's got a, a safety tab on it it's got spare blades there's only a few quid from Amazon. I want to take some pictures out of one of the Jade Summer books. Um, it's the dinosaurs for, for kids because I'm going to colour some of the pages in when I find it for Jennifer, uh, frame them and put her on a wall. And we can always take the frames down and then replace the pictures when she wants it changed. So I thought that might help. Final thing on the supplies is I bought, again, this is from the works. This is the Bold Me It's Soft Pastel set of 24. These were five pounds for these and they are just the chalk pastels. I've never used these. I have been watching a few videos. If we come out, they look like this. So I don't know whether they're gonna work very well. I just thought I'd try them out. And then if I like using them, I can always invest in a higher quality brand. You know, if I, I think it's worth it does come with a nice pad to go over the top to protect them from banging around so I have got a picture I'm working on that I will be using those on in this month if you want to finish it um, so next on to the books so the first book I'll show you of course is the current heaven fairies in nature book there's a flip through of this on the channel um, so it is actually one of the pictures in here that I am going to use the pastels on the background for it's a really nice book I'm not gonna lie I actually do like it um, I've nearly finished one picture uh, but I haven't actually finished it yet so I got distracted by other things so that's in my whip collection now I can't even put it on my whip collection because there's a camera sitting on it oh, that for a second. Um, but that'd be one that I use pastels on when I'm ready to I'm just going to move the light slightly to see if I can even up a bit that's, uh, that's the best I'm going to get I got number 
issue <coughs> 79 of Relax With Art. I didn't pick up number 80 because I wasn't sure whether I had it or not and I haven't so I probably won't be able to get that now because 81 is about to come out if it's not all out already. I do pick these up when I can. I will get 81 now. My uh, pain medication for my sinuses. I do like these books. I haven't started anything in this one yet. I mean I love this one of the girl reading. I love the patterns. Oh, cake. Nom 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 nom. Again, that one of the girl reading is absolutely stunning. I love this picture. I mean, it's hard for you to see. I can't get the light right tonight for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's that'll be a bit better. It's very warm here. I am sweating cobs. So there's that one. Looking forward to colouring in that one. I don't know where to put these. I think on the floor for now. Um, still trying to collect all the Jade Summer books that are still in print. I haven't got. I have. I think I've got three this month because of that order I had at the end of the year. So I've got the Dragons book. I will do a flip through of this. I've just got to keep the books I want to flip to one side so I can do them before putting them away. Um, yeah, I haven't filmed that yet. So there's that and that. As usual, you get the two images to colour. These ones are quite detailed. I might film it tomorrow actually, it's something like that way around actually. Um, yeah, they are, they're all sideways. Oh, okay. I haven't really looked at it yet, so. Alright, okay. Apart from that first one. <laughs> I haven't really looked at it. So I will film a flip through this and let you know what I think of the pictures. But I will keep that to one side. Because I do like to try and do the flip throughs when I can. Um, well, the first one I got from Ava Brown, well, one of them, was Chibi Animals Grayscale. Now, I ran out of uh, black ink when I was printing this out, so it's a bit, it's not the best, but it'll do. Um, as you can see, some of the grayscale's not in 100%, but I'm not worried about that because it's still grayscale enough for me. I think they're so cute. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you want to flip through of one of the Ava Browns, let me know. I don't have to buy them because I'm on the launch club. So I tend to just, I print them out and put them away. Another one from my Jade Summer collection is the Magic Magical Flowers Adults Colouring Book. And again, I will flip this one. I thought this was going to be really complicated and it's actually not They're really nice and simple, to be honest. They are really nice. I like these. Get some markers and some pencils. And it's, this is just going to be a nice chilled out colour for me. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm having real problems with the light tonight. Look at that. That is really nice. Put that to one side for a flip. Uh, so the next Ava Brown one I have, I've got quite a few Ava Brown because I actually bought a couple as well, is Gnoming Around the World. This is one of their new books. I've actually done a page in this, so you'll be seeing that in my um, completed pages. I love this book. So you've got all the different locations like Mount Rushmore. Uh, as you see, there, there's the uh, Aztec Pyramid, the Eiffel Tower, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, Great Wall of China. Absolutely fantastic. I did do the one of the gnomes at the Pyramids of Giza because I love anything to do with ancient Egypt. Uh, one I bought from Ava Brown is their Halloween colouring book. I know we're nowhere near Halloween, but hey. Who needs to colour at Halloween? You can colour Halloween all year round. You can colour Christmas all year round, if you so wish. So again, I like these books. I'm really getting into the Ava Brown ones. These are quite simple uh, pictures to colour. Again, you get two of each. I mean, it's a great little potion bottle. It's the shadow of this, actually. But I just think, look at that. These are just nice and cute, easy to colour pits pictures. I really like that one. And that one. So yeah, I'll, I'll do a, a flip through of that one as well uh, when I get a chance to be in the next few days. I'm going to keep them separate. I like that one. Um, one I bought from the works last week was £6 and it is the Tarot Colouring Book Mega Minden. It's the front and the back. Embark on your tarot uh, colouring journey. I love tarot cards. I do have a set. So, look at this, Wheel of Fortune, um, the Hermit, the Lovers, oh, the Hierophant, the Emperor, the Empress, um, the High Priestess, you've got the Fool, the Magician, absolutely stunning. I think this is a beautiful book. Yeah, Megamundan is the um, 
illustrator, uh, text and guidance are by Diana, M I can't pronounce Collis, McMahon Collis. Um, this is available for around the same price as well on Amazon. Uh, however, I got it from the works. I saw it there. I have got to get that book. And I love it. And you can just uh, colour randomly. You can colour them in order. And then you'll learn about what the, the cards mean as well. And what sort of colours they are. So here we have the Hierophant. It says blue and red combination dominated 18th and 19th century colour in a mid 20th century deck. Uh, emphasised red and white and uh, on that one and on, on the Emperor red associated with activity passion divine love is often featured sometimes alongside dark blue so it gives you ideas on what you should be colouring them I think this is a stunningly illustrated book and uh, I'm gonna when I finally get through there I will enjoy it I will do a complete flip through as well of that one because it is available on the Amazonia Yet another Ava Brown PDF was Secret Village. This one didn't have a cover. Uh, sometimes I'm finding you're getting covers with them and then other times you're not. I don't know why that is. Uh, this one didn't, but I think this is adorable. Little mice in the shopping in the Secret Village. I love this one of them, the two, the two mice at the bar <laughs> having a drink in the barber shop or the hairdressers, the bakery. I just think it's so adorable. The art gallery. So yeah, this is going to be a cute one to colour. I do like Ava Brown. They're very, very cute books. They've done some stunning ones. I've got another one coming up. I've got another two actually. One I bought and one that is a PDF. While in the works, I bought this tiny little one. I'll just zoom in a bit. I love rainbows. So as you know, there's I love unicorns. I love flamingos. I love blah, blah, blah. And this is just rainbows. And I thought I'll just... Uh, pick this up it's a, only a, it was only three pounds and I can just put this in my purse uh, with the pens for Jennifer and her books and we can just colour together because if I colour she wants to colour so I actually we did that at uh, Nana's at Nana Sally's most of that and I finished it off back here I'm going to zoom out because we're into some bigger books I can go over there okay uh, from I went into Tesco and bought Zen colouring um, springtime designs so this is just patterns mostly and I do like again I love patterns there I like to just pick a few colors and just the uh, bugs there and just color a pattern I mean that's got a, a lamp in it I mean that's just a pattern and um, you know and then there's some little pictures and they're just fun images to think oh, I'm just gonna sit and color this pick three colors and pick five colours whatever and just go for it I think it's a really nice look these ones are slightly more expensive I think these are that one's five ninety nine. Um, relax with our holiday special so this is the holiday one they do these every quarter I think they, they are uh, this one is transport I do quite like this one I, I'm, I'm getting quite a collection of these I'm not colouring them but I'm getting quite a collection I do every now and I like this book. Every now and again I find a book I really love and I like this. A little, sh little sailing boat. You've got the sports cars. Horse and carriage. It's quite sweet. She's relaxing reading the paper on a boat. Motorhome. Helicopter. So it's all, uh, you know, there's a VW camper van. Elephant. An old car. And then we've got the ice cream van. I mean, that's great. I, mean, I don't think you can actually see it very well because the, uh, I don't know where the shadows my arm, you see, but there's, look, there's, it's an ice cream van. How can you go wrong with an ice cream van? I love it. I think it's fantastic. And you got somebody, uh, I think they're uh, sitting either on the, I'd say they're on some sort of, well, it could be a plane looking at it, looking at the windows. A bit lower down to see the Eiffel Tower from a plane though. Yeah, there's a shadow coming from somewhere and I'm not sure where is it? It is the strap. I'm not sure why the strap is causing a shadow. Because the strap is behind the camera. Very strange. Anyway. So yeah, there's lots of look at that narrow bow. It's even worse now, is it this? Oh. Narrow bow. And then the gondolas in Venice. That's really sweet. I'd have to sort this out before I do any other videos, I think. 
I bought another one from Tesco, which is Colour Art, Making Time for Yourself, the Pattern Collection. This one was $6.99. Uh, yeah. This one, again, it's all patterns. I've done one in this one. As you can see, there's a tab in the top. Um, but as you can see, it is, again, patterns. It's mostly mandalas as well. You've got patterns like that. I think that's fantastic. I love it. Then you get these little pictures in windows, heart-shaped patterns. I like doing these, these just veg out in front of the TV or in bed when I'm watching a video. I'm going to enjoy that one. So I have done one of these, um, so you'll see that one in my uh, wrap-up as well. So this is actually turning out to be quite a long video. <laughs> but we are near the end, guys. We are near the end. Um, then we've got another Ava Brown here. We've got Fantasy. I bought this because I just love, love, love this cover. Again, two of each, and I really do like the cover. I think I prefer the cover. I think my cover's my favourite, but they are all amazing um, images. If we look at them, I think Ava Brown's bringing out a tattoo book next time. I know this one. I love this one. And the Merman. I mean, they're, they're just fantastic images. I'm, I'm really going to do one of these. I might do a colour chat on this one. But I'll do a flip through first. Oh, my God, it's so hot in here. Next I got uh, another Jade Summer, so that's three more off my list. That's coming down, I still have 20 out of them. <sighs> Delicious food. Again, these are the ones that I've left till last, because not because I didn't want them, but because they weren't mm, as much as what I wanted to colour in. But having looked through this, you've got the popcorn and the movie theatre tickets and your Coke. I'm going to enjoy colouring that one. You've got this pizza a burger and fries and so on they, a beautiful cake that looks like a rainbow cake uh, some sort of fruit salad -y thing knickerbocker glory fruit basket you know fruit fruit bowl I, I mean they are actually really beautiful spaghetti some cheese and and so on and i got to see the cover page so yeah i'm gonna i'll do a flip through that one as well um and i really like it it's really cool so i'm putting the flip through box in another pile to do after tonight, I won't be doing it tonight, I'm too hot. Two more to go. Um, I did treat myself because Jennifer wanted a Spider-Man colour book. She got a Marvel one which was really expensive for a three-year-old because um, she just scribbled over it but uh, she wanted it. It was six quid from the works. But I ordered myself one of the many Wonder Woman books that are out there. I know there's one featuring her looking like Gail Godot and I will probably get this. This one is the one that features a lot of the covers there are some images of the original artwork in the back which is really nice i've always loved wonder woman so we got the all-star comic there and then that's the coloring page so it is grayscale there's a lot of it already colored in you don't have to worry about her hair uh, sometimes her bodysuit is covered um you also get a lot of these um wallpaper pages but when you get something like this I mean, it's stunning. And, and then you get this actual comic strip here. Like that. And the comic cavalcade covers. These are the old ones. I think these are fantastic. I will actually do a flip through this one because I think it's a stunning book. I'm really pleased to get that. I have got another Wonder Woman colouring book and I haven't coloured in that one either. So, but yeah, I really like that book. And finally, there's another Ava Brown one. This is the newest one. It's only just been released. It's called Beach Life. Um, I haven't coloured in it yet, but I'm so looking forward to it because, oh, I could use being on a beach right now. Um, so you've got various aspects of being on a beach. So you've got them sitting there on, on the sea in the background. Like I said, you've got the camper van. You've got a toucan or a bird, some more birds. Surfing. Oh, that's a nice one. That does actually remind me a bit of Tenerife because you get all those sort of like um, walkways like that. You've got somebody scuba diving. That's the cover page. And again, it could be a back street in Cornwall or Tenerife or anywhere like that. Uh, so that is Beach Life by Eva Brown. I hope you have enjoyed this haul that I wasn't expecting to do. Obviously, I will be doing some flip throughs. I've told you which books I'm going to flip through. If you want to see any of the other books flip through, do let me know and I will happily do that for you. 
hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's gone on for 20 minutes if you have please give a th thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you want to see me color in any of these books or flip through them if I haven't already said I'm going to and uh, like the video share it with your friends and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe I really appreciate it and I will see you very soon with another video